good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. So it's not even quite daylight out. I mean, it's, it's getting brighter, but it's still kind of early. And I am on my way to pick up my mom and head to a rummage sale. She doesn't really like a whole lot of the rummage sales in the area. So she doesn't go to many, but she did decide she wanted to come to this one. So I'm going to go scoop her up real quick. And we are going to head to this rummage sale. It is uh, about probably 40 minutes away. It's a little bit of a drive. So let's go see what we can find. Excuse me. Thank you. Be out of your way. Do you have to pay for the jewelry here? No. I have three, three necklaces. That's it? Yep. That's it? Yep, that's it, thank you. Oh, that one's not mine. Oh. That one. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a necklace. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> Tons of markers. I think. Taco 
know I couldn't. I don't know what shot was. Oh, man. Okay. I don't think they are. Chef Co. It still feels like a really good, feels like a really good knife. Oh, good. I'm glad. Like we, I like I said, we would have gladly taken it too, but we... Half a cap. Yeah, we're qu quarter. Quarter. Oh, so, we're not doing that for now. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> Oops. This is kind of neat. I don't know what the heck it is. So now I'm going to show you what I got at this rummage sale. I apologize. I know I'm flying through that place again, uh, but these rummage sales get so packed. Uh, just so many people and you, you know, you don't always know where you're going to find that group of items or whatever. So I just kind of like to take a quick browse through. Um, see, I don't really limit myself to certain areas so I'm kind of like all over the place and I don't know I just like to take a quick trip through and see if I can spot anything that immediately grabs my attention and then I kind of take a slower walk around later so I don't know but anyway that place was that place was a madhouse it was like it was hard to even kind of maneuver through the crowd so anyway let me show you what I got here. This has a lot of pilling, but I thought it was really cool. So I'm gonna try to depill it. It's kind of like a uh, quarter zip pullover. I grabbed this uh, Victoria's Secret pink bra. Someone just said uh, that you can no longer sell bras on, use bras on eBay. I don't know. I mean, I still have some listed and you know, with no problems. This one actually needs a run through the wash. There's something on the inside of it. But um, I can always put this on Poshmark. So it's no biggie. Uh, I grabbed these. It's just a pair of Champion running leggings. They were new. So I figured, why not? Uh, I spent, I think I spent about 36 or 37 on everything, maybe. Maybe not even. Um, I can't remember now. I'm going to have to double check. I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, this is actually last weekend and I'm finally getting around to the haul. So I picked up these Levi's skinny jeans, grabbed a pair of American Eagle. These, these don't bring huge, crazy money, but it's, it's bread and butter. Uh, this is a pair of American Eagle again. These are like a button fly, the Tom girl. I actually sold a pair of these a couple weeks ago. 
So then I grabbed some belts. These are all pretty much just like hand tooled kind of leather belts. So I figured you can't go wrong. They look like they're in pretty good shape. This one's not hand tooled, but it's just uh, split cowhide, bonded, lined. This one looks like a women's. It could be a men's. I think it's, I don't know. It's a size 30. I don't know. These definitely look like men's. So give them a shot. I did grab two pair of shoes. The shoes there were not that great, but I grabbed these. These look like they're in pretty good pretty good condition. These are um, hotter comfort. And you always see these like um, advertised in like magazines and stuff like that. So, I mean, they're nothing pretty to look at, but they do sell pretty well for me. Uh, you can consistently get like $25, $30, depending on the style. Uh, I grabbed these. These are Nao. I think I'm finally saying that right. Made in Israel. These are, these are used, but I think that they'll still do, they'll do okay. I always grab that brand. Uh, this, this I grabbed, I sold a vintage one of these a couple years ago for like $50. Well, now they're making them again, the newer versions. And this probably is only going to sell for about $18.99 maybe, but eh, profit is profit. I grabbed these. These are Hampton. So not like a real crazy brand to pick up, but they look like they're in very good condition. And I just really like the shell spoons. So grab those. I grabbed this bag. It appears vintage. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Some of the little, I don't know, some of the little hooks are coming off. I'm going to have to fix that somehow. Actually, one might be missing. Maybe I'm not going to fix it. I'm probably going to let the buyer fix it, but I paid a dollar for it. So I figured that's not bad. I probably wouldn't have paid any more for it because of the condition. I got two of these. These are Mr. Christmas. They're musical. Like, they look like a trinket box, but the stuff inside kind of turns around. And I picked up two of these because I actually bought a lot of these a couple weeks ago. So I'm just going to add these into that and just sell them all together. So I got that reindeer one. And the other one is a penguin. I don't think I have these in the other group. If so, then maybe I won't add them. But I don't remember. I'm going to have to... Ooh, that one stopped. That didn't sound good. Let's see here. Oh no, it works. It was just unwound. So yeah, I'm going to add those in. I grabbed three of these bowls. These are Mikasa, Arabella. I usually do well with the bowls, so grab three of those. And then I grabbed a couple necklaces. I've been into picking up some jewelry lately. It's nothing crazy. It's just costume pieces, but this one, this one looks like it's really actually tarnished. It's brass. I don't think there's a maker on here. I think it's brass because it's, I didn't realize how green that was. Is that tarnished or is that like the color of it? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's tarnished. It's probably tarnished. Why did I pick that up? <laughs> I mean, it looks kind of cool that way. I don't know. And this I grabbed. This is not marked as well, but I thought it was pretty. I'll just try these out on Poshmark. They were 25 cents a piece. Uh, let's see here. This is, I don't know how this works. 
Anyway, it's kind of like a shell. We'll see. We'll put them up on Poshmark, see how they do. And then lastly, I picked up, finally found a piece, RS Prussia. So it's a small piece. It looks like they tried to sell it at, at maybe um, a yard sale previously and it didn't sell. So then they had a dollar on it at the church. So there's no chips, there's no cracks. Like I said, it's not a huge piece, but I finally found one at a decent price and it's not broken. Uh, I've been kind of keeping my eye out for this ever since I passed up on that monstrous size bowl over the summer. Um, big mistake on my part. So now I've been keeping an eye out and like I said, I finally found a piece. So I'm not really sure how much this is gonna be worth. I'm gonna have to look it up, but I was super stoked to find this. And this was probably one of the last things I picked up. So it just sat there on the table and pretty much got overlooked. So really happy about that. So yeah, that's what I got. Uh, wasn't the craziest haul of my life, but it was fun. It's always a lot of fun. I love rummage sales and I'm happy with what I got. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Uh, stay tuned because there are definitely some more rummage sales coming up, and uh, I'll be putting those videos out among some other things. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.